Hallelujah. Come on, wave your hands and say, I love you, Jesus. Yeah, say it in English. I love you, Jesus. Glory to God. It's good to be back. And uh, I know the Lord is doing a good thing. I want us to stand on our feet and appreciate the man and woman of God, the set house. Priests. Let's appreciate Pastor Mike and the entire leadership. Come on, we can do better than that. Amen. 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 amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And let's appreciate what God is doing in this house with the people. Hallelujah. Amen. Now lift both of your hands. And and say, Lord, I'm ready. Lord, I'm ready to receive what you are ready to give. Come on, say it again. Lord, I'm ready to receive what you are ready to give. Say it the third time. Lord, I'm ready to receive what you are ready to give. I open up my heart. I open up my mind. I open up my spirit that you will minister to me today in Jesus mighty name and the church say amen please take your seats in the presence God of the Lord God bless you sir amen and amen hallelujah I bring you greetings from my wife, Jessica. And the entire Kingdom Tabernacle family. They love you. They love you enough for me to be here instead of there. Glory to God. What do I say to them? <laughs> Glory to God. Today I want to start on something that I believe is going to transform your life. As we begin to talk about prayer. But specifically, I want to talk about kingdom service. Say with me, kingdom service. Come on, say it, kingdom service. I need to hear you say kingdom service. So if you're writing down, let's talk about kingdom service. And specifically, how to connect to the kingdom agenda. I pray that in the hearing of the word, there will also be understanding. Amen. We have to start by understanding that faith is the facet that drives life. But that life depends on what informs that faith. Faith in itself is not a Christian word. It is a way of living. When the Bible says the just shall live by faith, Romans 1 and 16 and 17, it is not talking about Christian faith as much as it is talking about a faith that comes from the revelation of the gospel. You, you believe what informs your belief. If I want to change what I believe, I must change what informs my belief. If I want to change what I believe, I must change what informs my belief. 
And life doesn't change until I change the information of my life. Mm-hmm. Now one of the things that we have not understood to its depth is prayer. Because you pray according to what informs your prayer. So the power of prayer is not in the zeal in prayer, but the information that is driving that prayer. And when God was instituting prayer, it is not because he knew that men had need, but because he knew that he had an agenda. Come on now. So prayer became a means to drive God's agenda rather than a means to meet man's need. If you're with me, wave to me, because we're going somewhere today. So God, God wanted to do something so men had to pray. Let's say that again. God wanted to do something so man had to pray. Because by divine protocol, man was on the earth to execute what the heavens wanted to do. See, if the man who is the executor has need, it automatically becomes heaven's need because if man is not in the right state, then heaven's will will not be achieved. Mm-hmm. That if man ever had a need, it automatically becomes heaven's need because the man is a heaven's agent on the earth. So heaven answers faster than man prays. Come on now. Are you with me, somebody? Because each one of you that is here uh, is representing what heaven wants to do. My God. Look at your neighbor and say, you represent. Look at them. I know they don't believe it, but look at them. Say, you represent what heaven wants to do. You know, forget that neighbor. Look at another one. That one won't believe you. Look for another one. Say so you represent what heaven wants to do. But prayer is the language ordained by God to cause the heavens to manifest on the earth. It has nothing to do with what a man needs. It has everything to do with what the heaven needs. Can we go somebody? So watch this. So the disciples asked Jesus, teach us how to pray. And we are about to realize that the greatest service that man can render heavens is prayer. Mm. Let's say that again. The greatest service that a man can render to God and to the heavens is effectual prayer. 
Let's say it the third time. The greatest service I can give God is when I am executing my assignment on the earth and that execution is only by prayer. There is no other way we serve God apart from prayer. I need to explain that. Everything we do is because of everything we believe. And everything we believe becomes a statement of everything we say. So it is not the arranging of the chairs, but the pronouncement while I'm arranging those chairs that becomes the service unto God. Because the heavens are not looking for arranged chairs, they are looking for arranged lives. Today, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is launching you into a place of service that is being driven by prayer. If you believe it, say amen. So Matthew 6 and 9, let's lay the foundations. They asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. They were not looking for a prayer life. They were looking for an effective life. Watch this now. The disciples didn't want to learn how to pray so that they are prayerful. They wanted to learn how to pray so that they are effective. Let me say it again. They didn't want to learn how to pray so that people say those guys are prayerful. They wanted to learn how to pray because they recognized that prayer made Jesus effective. It is your desire for being effective that drives your discipline or prayer. Well, the devil has lied to the church because now we want to learn how to pray so that we look anointed. Uh -uh. You can pray from Monday to Monday. But if you're not executing service, then that prayer has no effect in the heavens and no effect in hell. When you look at the Hall of Fame in Hebrews 11, you don't see prayerful men, you see effective men. God is looking for effective Christians, not just prayerful Christians. Are they here? Are they on the left somewhere? Are they, I'm saying, are they effective Christians here this morning? Where are you? Come on, are you here? So Jesus said, let me teach you how to pray so that you might become effective in the life for which you have been sent. 
Yesu rero arabwiye ati reka ndabigishe gusenga kugira ngo ubuzima bwanyu buze buterere mu mpinduka cyane mu gushita chaki ndi chatumye murungiko cyane mubaho So he said our father which art in heaven Arabwiye ati data uri mwijuru Hallowed be thy name Izina ryawe reka ryubahwe Because prayer begins at the place of heaven mindedness Dukwiye kumenya yuko isengesha imisi yose ritangurana n'icyumviro cy'ijuru You can't pray half minded Nushobora gusenga ufise icyumviro cy'isi You have to pray heaven minded Ukwiye gusenga icyumviro cy'ijuru ari cyo kiganje ubuzima bwawe cyangwa ivyo Because your service is according to your heavenly mindedness Kubera yuko igikogo ukora gifitanye sano cyane gishimikijwe nico ijuru rishaka gukora Cuz you won't know why you're here until you know where you're from Nushobora kumenya impamvu uri ngaha keretse ushoboye kumenya impa cyane aho wajuva Jesus is saying I know the earth has issues Ndazi ukwisi ifise ibibazo But the heavens have a God Ari kwijuru rifise imana And the heavens have a will Kandi ijuru rifise ubugombe And the answer to the earth's need is the heavens will Kandi inyishu kukibazo cyisi ni ubwo bugombe bw'ijuru But there must be a man who is heavenly minded Ariko bisaba yuko hagira umuntu afise muri we ikiyumviro cy'ijuru To cause earthly changes Kugira ngo atume ivyisi bihinduka Our problem is ingorane yacu We are driven to prayer because of what the earth is pressuring us into Tusuni kwa mwisengesho na vya bindi isi iturameza So when you need a job that's when you come for the overnight Igiukene ya akazi niyo mpamvu cyuza gukesha When you need a wife that's when you look for a prophet Ukene ya umuga umugabo cyangwa umugore nico gihe urondera When you need some money some business that's when you remember scripture Igiye cyose ukene ya mafranga cyangwa igikogoro nakukora nico gihe utangura kurondera iki jambo ry'Imana rivuga That's why God doesn't respect our needs he respects his will Niyo mpamvu imana iti idahagaciro ivyo tega dushaka ubwi hagaciro ico yo ishaka and your service to god is bringing the heavens will on the earth kanzi gikogwa ukorera imana nuko uzana ivyijuru kugirango bishitwe gahamise sinzi niba muri ko muratahura ivyo ndiko ndavuga let me say it again reka ndavuga kanzi your service to god igikogwa ukorera imana is bringing heaven on earth nukuzana ijuru hano mwisi The only service God reveals and receives ikikogo cyonye ni imana hishura kanzi kakira is what he sent ni cyakindi ubwayo yarungitse let's say that again reka ndabivuge kanzi muri God only receives what he sent imana yakira gusa cyakindi ubwayo yarungitse let's say it the third time reka ndabivuge kanzi muri gatatu God only receives Imana yakira gusa what he sent icyo yo yarungitse Isaiah 55:11 Ah Yesaya 55:5 umurongo wa 12 So shall my word be that comes out of my mouth Avango uko niko bizoba ijambo ryose rizova mu kanwa kanje It shall not return to me void until it has accomplished what I have sent it to do Nirizongaruka ko riri gusa kugeza igihe rizoba ryashikije cyakindi yarungikiwe so god sends a word imani rungikijambo rero man receives that word umuntu akakira iryo jambo man prays that word umuntu agasenga iryo jambo effects begin to happen on the earth hami bintu bigatangura gukoreka ngaha mwisi and god receives the results of the manifested word akira ibivuye muri rya jambo igiye gari ko rigaragaza He says so is the rain Avati uko niko imvura imeze That the rain will not come from the heaven to the earth Igiye cyose imvura izozi ivuye mu ijuru It will not return niza subira inyuma until it has grown the crops for which it came Kugeza gusa igizuba yamaze kuzana umwimbu yatumye iyo mvuriza so god sends rain so that man plants crops and god gets a harvest of crops not rain come on somebody 
Imana rero irungi kimvura kugira ngo habeho guteragirwa kw'imbuto rero imana nabwiha imvura imbuto ivyamwa cyangwa umwimbu imana iha umwimbu ya mbuto yateragiwe so when god sends or allows you to get money for example akarorero igihe imani guhaya amafaranga every money you get has an assignment on it urufaranga rwose rwose rufise igikogwa rugejwe gukora and you're not getting anything back kandi ntacuza kubikuramo until what was sent serves its purposes kugeza igihe iryo faranga rizoshitsa cyakindi dyariri so God is not multiplying money he's multiplying service Imana rero niri kwiragwiza amafaranga aho giri kwiragwiza ibikogwa yo amafaranga kuya gukora and the more a man enlarges service the more a man receives the money that meets the service rero uko yo amafaranga agwiza atumi ibikogwa bigwira niko our father that is in heaven hallowed be thy name heavenly mindedness thy kingdom now the disciples have rent because they have needs rent school fees government they are a lot of needs with the disciples but rather than teach them what to say about their need he teaches them what to say about the kingdom Please listen to me. Most of the teaching on prayer is teaching you how to speak about your need. And you know how to address your need so well. But you have missed the point. The point is. It is only what meets when heaven comes. That will be met when a man prays. Come on now. What does it mean by let your kingdom come? It means that God is doing something before man is needing something. God is doing something before man needs anything. The example is the Garden of Eden where God meets man's need before he creates man. He plants a garden and then makes a man in that garden. But the reason he puts a man is because he wants dominion on the earth. It is only after the fall that man recognizes what he needs away from what God is doing. Can we, can we teach? Can we teach this morning? Alright. Whenever you know what you need more than what God needs, you're operating under the order of Adam. Please look at your neighbor so that they hate me and you together. Come on. Look at your neighbor. 
Tell them when you know how much money you need, but you do not know how much money God needs. Come on, talk to me. Come on, Burundi. I, 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 are we here, somebody? Our service is getting God's need and becoming the vessel that causes the manifestation of God's supply. Let me surprise you. For some of us, if the kingdom comes, we will lose everything we had. Okay, you didn't hear what I just said. Because because thy kingdom come means thy will be done. So it is not the presence of God, it is the plan of God. Most of you want the presence, but you can't handle the plan. There is no presence that appears without a plan. And your life doesn't look like how much presence of God you have. Your life looks like how much plan of God you are effectualizing. Let me tell you Africa, we love God. We cry in his presence. We fast. Africa, we love God. We are expressive. We jump, we, we love God in our hearts. But the kingdom didn't come for us to love God. The kingdom came for us to serve God. Oh, oh. Okay, look at your neighbor again. Let's pray together. The greatest expression of love is service. If anybody says I love you but can't serve you, it's a lie. Love is proven by service. But love gets to a place where the service is not sacrifice, it is pleasure. Sacrifice was for the Old Testament because men didn't understand the love of God. In the New Testament, love produces service as pleasure. Oof. Where is the church in here? Are you here, somebody? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in the heavens. It is the only prayer in the New Testament, people of God. Let me say that again. You see, whenever Paul prayed, Paul's prayers were a declaration of truth. Paul 
Paul wasn't praying need, he was declaring truth. For example, Paul onabwe yasenga afatsiye kuvya keneye, ahubwo yasenga ariko aravuga icu kuri kuri cyo. When he says I pray for you that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened Ephesians 1 and 17. Mubanye Efeso rimwe mu rongo wa 17 ngiye Paul yavuga ngo ndabasengera kugira ngo amaso yanyu yo buryo bwimwe mu yuguruke that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what is the exceeding riches of his inheritance in the saints and the exceeding power to us who believe. Kugira ngo mumenye ubutunzi buri muri muri uyu muhamagaro kuko burengeye cyane nibindi na bya bindi murashaka kubisha. Paul is praying is that you will see what the heaven needs for you. He wasn't praying for you to be so Christian. He was praying for you to be so connected to the heavens so that the earth rejoices about a man who is connected to the heavens. That will be done. If the difference God. between Adam and Christ is how they handle will. One became a living soul, so he had the ability to choose a will. Umwe yachitse ufisu bugingo bigatuma ahita mo ugombe ashaka. Because your soul which is your will, your emotions, your choices, your judgment. Are usually the reason you're disconnected from the heavens. But for Christ, he said, not my will, but your will be done. Ariko Kristo aravuga ati atari ubugombe bwanje ariko ubugombe bwawe abari go gukoreka you can't serve god with your will nushobora gukorera imana n'ubugombe bwawe and whenever you think you have chosen to serve god you're after the order of adam igiye chose wibaza yuko ari wowe ahisemo gukorera imana mu yindi vugo wewe uri when the will of the heaven comes, the will of man walks aside. So prayer will alter your will. And that's why men don't pray. Because they still want their will. Whenever you pray, God will show you what will you should let go of and what will you must get a hold of. You sing let, let me see a hand if we are together because I'm still testing the mics to see if they're working. Are, are we here now? <laughs> Come away away to me. Are you here now? So the will of the kingdom becomes the direction of a man's life. Some of you have a 10-year plan, but a zero kingdom plan. You know where your kids are going to go. You know where you're going to build your mansion. You know what car you're going to drive. You know everything about yourself. And nothing about the kingdom. Come on, just we're friends, eh? No man serves God without a revelation of the kingdom's will. So for these next three days, I don't want you to miss one day. Because the Lord has given me three things. I'll share one each day. 
that I believe are not just going to change your prayer life, they are going to change your entire direction of life. And I pray over you in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. I said, I command over you in Jesus' name. Come on, you lift your hands. I said, I pray over you in Jesus' name that the will of the heavens will exceed your will. That you will give yourself over to the will of the heavens so that the agenda of the heavens will be established on the earth through you. May you become important to the heavens. Talk to me, somebody. I said, may you become important to the heavens. May you become effective on the earth. Lift your hands, say in Jesus' mighty name. So Hallelujah. let's begin our study now. Let's start in Matthew 16. And I'll show you something here. You see, man must understand that prayer is from God. <laughs> Okay, I have to laugh. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? True prayer is only from God. You don't have the ability to, co to correctly pray if it is not from God. Because prayer doesn't make God work. Prayer. Prayer is an announcement of what God is working. So, if I don't know what God is doing, I don't know how to pray. Do we agree? I said, do we agree? So, let's watch this now. You know the story. This is Jesus with his disciples. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Verse 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippa, he asked the people walking with him, the disciples, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Because you will only relate with me according to your revelation of me. Right? Okay. So he, and they say it. Verse 14. Some say you are John the Baptist. Can you imagine how far you can be from Jesus? You look at Jesus and you say that's John the Baptist. My God. Some say you are Elijah. Others say you are Jeremiah. Others say you are one of the prophets. That means that when the heavens see the earth, they see many ways in which we see Jesus. My God. It is not that you called him John the Baptist. But whenever you relate with him according to the assignment of John the Baptist, you have called him John the Baptist. Because mm. your name in the heavens is your assignment on the earth. Let's say that again. Your assignment on the earth is what the heavens know as your name. Now, mm, Pastor, catch this one. If someone does what I was supposed to do on the earth, 
igihe cyose hagize umuntu akora ico jewe nari nkwiriye gukora hano mwisi they receive my reward because the heavens knows that this one belongs to a certain man i don't know if you caught what i just said atayakira ibihembo byari kubivyanje kubera yuko bazi yuko iki kintu cyari that person has come in your name uwo muntu yaje mu izina ryawe so why the scripture says that those who receive a prophet receive a prophet's reward. So God is not looking at persons, he's looking at purposes. And if someone started uh, you know a, a prayer movement at their workplace which you were supposed to start <laughs> god rewards them in your name urazi naba abantu usanga batanguje imyanya y'amasengesho kubuzi aho basanzwe bakora ivyo bikaba byari biri cyari kuba igikogwa wowe ubwa uri kurakora mu yindi bugo aba bantu bacha bahabwa ibihembo byari kuba ivyawe now John the Baptist represented an order of the prophets announcing the coming Jesus. Rero, oh, I hope Baptist, I have time here. Uyungu yo aserukira abavugishwa bavugishijwe kukuza kwa Yesu. And most of us kandi benshi muri twebwe announcers not manifestors. Twebwe turi abantu bavuga ariko our Jesus is John the Baptist. Niyo mvu Yesu wacu ni Yohana umubatizi. Whenever you look at Jesus but relate with him after the assignment of John the Baptist you have just called him John the Baptist Igye chosu ravye Yesu ukamubonamwo cha gikogwa cha Yohana umubatizi aho amaze kumuhama kumwita Yohana umubatizi What is the assignment of John the Baptist is baptism cha Yohana umubatizi chari kihe And most of us are obsessed with baptism abantu benshi gati yacu but disconnected from service not understanding that the reason Jesus was baptized was so that he could be ushered into service if you miss service even the baptism is of no regard Acts 1:8 says when you receive the Holy Ghost you will become my witnesses. So why are you filled with fire and yet you're not ready to be a witness? The baptism is for the service. Ah, if you cause when you are in the mountain of Ango, if you must go to the mountain, you must be filled with fire and not be filled with fire. If you are not filled with fire, you will not be filled with fire. If you are not filled with fire, you will not be filled with fire. So you didn't say you're John the Baptist but you have just acted like he is John the Baptist. Rero, He's just there to put you on fire fire. Rero uyu nguyu nabwo ari Yohana umubatiza ahubwo wa umubonamo nkuri ko arakora nka Yohana umubatiza wa undi yinjiza abantu mu. Let's run. Some say you're Elijah the man who calls fire. Abandi bavuti ngo bavuga ngo wewe uri Eliya wa undi yamana uyu muriro. Some say you're Jeremiah the prophet. I see I see I see what? Jeremiah what do you see I see I see Jeremiah wa undi aguma vuga ngo ndabona 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 Service is not what you see but what you serve Igikogwa cy'Imana nabwo ari vyo ubona ahubwo ni vyo urukurakora Prophetic ministry is not there to see things Igikogwa cy'umuvugishwa nabwo ari cyo kubona ibintu But to lead people to serve an agenda Ahubwo nokuzana abantu mu gukora if what I see doesn't connect to what you must serve, then what I saw is of no regard. Because prophecy is revealing the mind and the will of God to people. It is not calling out phone numbers. 
it's calling out purposes, callings and giftings in men so that they let go of their wills and begin to pick up the will of the kingdom and run with it. True prophecy makes you uncomfortable with your will. And makes you hungry for the kingdom's will. If you stayed serving your own purposes, you didn't receive a prophetic word, you received a word of exhortation. So many of us are seeing Jesus as Jeremiah. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? It's so quiet here. I don't know if. Are we okay? Check your neighbor's blood pressure. Some of us are. Check their blood pressure. Are you okay? Are we doing? Is this okay? Anybody wave to me. Let me see you. Check your neighbor. They might have blacked out. Check your neighbor. Are you all right? Can we keep going? Are you okay? Come on, shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So then he asked them, what do you say that I am? Not what do they say. But what do you say? What is your personal revelation of who I am? When you see me, what do you see? Do you see fire? Do you see miracles? Do you see prophecy? When you see me, what do you see? I have walked with you, but what what do you see? Because what you see determines what you serve. You can't serve what you don't see. You begin by seeing and then begin to serve. So Simon Peter said, You are the Christ. The Christ. Christ. Not Jesus. Atariesu. But the Christ. Christo. Christos. Christo. The anointed one. Uasizgo and mabuka. his anointing. Kanzi because mabuka. Christ. Kuko is the purpose of Jesus. Ya yesu. Christ. Christo. Is why Jesus came. Christ Christo. is what Jesus is serving. Jesus serves Christ. Yes, Christ. And we become Christians. Not Jesusians. Because we need Christ. Not Jesus. Jesus came. So that Christ is served. So Peter saw. Why Jesus came. So Peter. Peter can serve Jesus yes. because he has seen the Christ. He saw the Christ's assignment and immediately saw his purpose. You can't know your purpose until you see the assignment of your master. Church of Jesus Christ, your purpose is not in seeing Jesus. Because, see, oh God, there is a lot to see in Jesus. Savior, healer, deliverer. Uh, you know, there is a lot to see in Jesus. But that was his work. But there is your work. Your work is in seeing the Christ. Because then, you become the anointing that he has come to release. You are the Christ. The son of a living God. The son of a living God. Why son? 
Because in the heavens, God doesn't have pastors. And the highest level of anointing in the heavens is not major prophet. The highest level of the anointing is a son. Why? Because the son has the heart of the father. And he continues the legacy of his father. The son knows I am here to serve my father until my time when my father is not there then I can serve on his behalf my God everything that is of my father is mine because I'm a son his pain is my pain Come on, when I say that all things of my father are mine most of you think about the silver and gold on their thousand hills ah, before you go for the silver and gold you must carry the pain of your father you must carry the need of your father you must carry the struggle of your father you must understand what your father is trying to do. The money will come. The things will come. But we have a kingdom to establish. We have a kingdom to advance. We have a kingdom to do. So we need sons. Not servants. So service is not for servants. Service is for sons. Servants know the task. Sons know the heart. Servants are trying to please the master. Sons are continuing the legacy of the Father. Yeah. You are the Christ who is continuing the legacy of the living God. Peter didn't see Jeremiah. I see, I see, I see. Peter didn't see John the Baptist. Fire, fire, fire. Peter didn't see Elijah. Peter uh -uh. He saw the Christ. He saw the assignment. He saw the task. He saw the will. He saw the agenda. What do you see? No, ask your neighbor. What do you see? Ask your neighbor. What do you see? Because your prayers are already a vocabulary of what you see. That's why you oh, Mercedes, 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 Mercedes. Mercedes, 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 Mercedes. Oh, 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 oh. Volvo, 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 Volvo. Oh, Mazda, 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 Mazda. Shika ya ba 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 ba. Corolla, 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 Corolla. Hey, because that's what is in your head. Kuko if you never be able to get up, go away. If you wanna. Hello. I said hello. You are the Christ. Uri Christ. The son of a living God. Umana, we man. Immediately. Umana. Jesus. Yes, answered. Answered. That's what it says in the King James. Is that what it says there? Uh, yeah. Il repond. Next. Come on. This is verse number. 
17. 17? Come on, somebody. And Jesus answered. 17. 17. 1 7. Come on, somebody. Did he answer? Is that what it says in French? Did Peter ask? Why is Jesus answering? Peter declared. Every declaration demands heaven's answer. Ma, 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 ma. Jesus answered. Yes, because prayer is not closing your eyes ahead. Prayer is everything true that you say. <laughs> oh. Whenever truth is released, heaven answers. Jesus answered because Peter had decreed the truth. Some of you think that God is hearing what you're saying. Oh Lord, oh no. God measures everything you say in a sieve of truth. If no truth comes out, because Jesus answered and said, What did he say to him? Blessed. How many want the blessing? Come on. Uh, 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 do you want the blessing? Do you want the blessing? Jesus said, yes, Blessed art thou, Peter. Blessed art thou, Simon. Blessed art thou, Simon Bajona. Simon Peter. For flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Our Father which is in heaven. Did you catch it? Our Father which is in heaven. So Peter must have prayed our Father which is in heaven. Let me put it this way. When Jesus asks, what do they say? Peter, our Father which is in heaven. My God. Because Jesus had says that the Father in heaven has revealed to the Peter on the earth who Jesus the Christ is. He didn't look at Jesus from the earth. He looked at Jesus from the heavens. Watch what happens. Let's try to conclude. Let's round this up. Watch this now. So Jesus yes. then calls him Simon. Yes. Simon. Simon, the son of Jonah. Simon, Mene, Jonah. Because you have seen the Christ, the son of the living God. Yes. I am now seeing Simon, the son of Bajona. And now I have a name for you. Thou at Peter. Because I am the Christ. You are Peter. Because you have seen the Christ. Now you know what your name is. People know you as Simon, Simon, the son of Jonah. I know you as Peter. Peter. Why? Because Peter is a little rock. Christ Christ is the big rock. 
They know you as the son of Jonah. I know you as the little rock that I am going to use to build the church. Stop walking around. Stop walking around as the son of Jonah. Begin walking around as that rock that I am going to use to build my church. You're not continuing the legacy of Jonah, your father. You're continuing the legacy of Christ, your father. So, 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 First Peter two and five will say quickly. First Peter two and five. Peter shows us that he understood. Yes, what Jesus said. So First Peter. Two and five. Peter says that we are. Living stones. He doesn't say we, we are sons of Jonah. He says we are living stones. Who are being built up. Into a spiritual house. So that we may offer up. Spiritual sacrifices. That are acceptable to God. When you see the big rock. You begin to see the little rock. That is being built up to the big house. That God is going to use. To advance his kingdom. Now Peter is not praying. To be a good son of Jonah. He's praying to be a good stone. A lively stone. A stone that can be used. That word lively stone. Verse 5. Is talking about. A stone that can be used. So, Jesus tells him, You are Simon Bajona. Look at this. Flesh and blood has not revealed this. The earth. Has not revealed this. The will of man cannot reveal this. The desires of man cannot reveal this. What you want cannot reveal this. But my father. Which is in heaven. So. I say to you. You are Peter. That means Peter prayed. When Peter saw, Peter prayed. And when Peter prayed, the heavens answered. With what Peter must do. <laughs> so he says, Upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Is this Peter praying? No. When a man discovers purpose, heaven begins to pray over that man. When you find where God wants you to be, you don't pray for yourself. No, the heavens begin to decree over your life. This is my son in whom I am well pleased. I decree over us today in the name of Jesus. May the heavens make pronouncements over you. I will build my church. Ah. So all along, Jesus didn't want to know whether people know him. 
Jesus wanted to reveal what he is doing. <laughs> I don't know if you heard what I say. He's not asking to know his name. He's asking to reveal his will. Because many know his name. But don't know his will. That's why he exalts his word, which is his will, over his name. Because the name without the will will be of no effect. I will build my church. This week, we're going to talk about three things. But I want you to understand what God is doing. Because your prayer can only be based on what God is doing. Because it's useless to pray for promotion on a job that God is firing you from. God is building three things. One, he's building men. Two, he's building the church. And three, he's building the kingdom. He's building men to be vessels. He's building the church to be the body. And then he's building the kingdom to be the influence. The vessel, the body, and the influence. We are going to look at that during the week. But let's end with verse 19. Because you know who I am, and now you know who you are, I will give you the keys. God gives keys to people who know who he is and who they are. Okay. Because if you have keys without a revelation of identity and purpose, you will misuse those keys. It's not that God doesn't want to give you dominion, it's that you have not received position. God's power in your life is not for everywhere, anytime, anything, anyhow. It is purposeful power. It's to do something somewhere, somehow. That's why he calls them keys, because they have specific doors. My the right key for the wrong door is a wrong key. Every key must first find its door before it is effective. Faith is a key. Grace is a key. Favor is a key. But your faith doesn't work everywhere. And you will not find grace everywhere. No, God has located a door that your faith will open. Uh, there are people who were with Jesus but were not healed and he's the healer. Because even though he's the door, they didn't have the key. I will give you the keys of the kingdom. 
Whatever you bind on earth. That bind is not demons. We are not in the league of demons. Have you had any Satan in what I have preached from the beginning? There's no binding a devil. Listen, there is no Christian that can bind the devil. It's not your job. There is only one man who has given the key of hell and heads. His name is Jesus. And he's the only one that can bind the devil. That's why it's called finished works. He did it so that you don't do it. You can't do it. And you are not sent to do it. What he's talking about is permitting will I do say To bind on the earth is first, I know what the heavens want. So I lock a door on the earth because it's not what the heavens is doing. Then I unlock a door on the earth which the heavens is accessing. For example, if I have two invitations to go to Rwanda or to go to Burundi, I have to bind one and open another. I can't go to both doors. But I must first know where is heaven going. Then I get the keys and I say, Burundi, I'm coming. It's about transporting the will of God into the doors that God wants to enter. It's not about demons. It's about the knowledge of the will of God and what he wants to do on the earth. I will give you the keys of the kingdom. So that you bind what the kingdom is not doing, but you also lose what the kingdom is doing. Use the keys to bind your will. There's no amen on this side. Let me try here. Use the keys to refuse influences that are separating you from the will of God. When you say no to, to, to bad company, you're using your keys well. You're saying, I have a will to serve. I can't be a friend to everybody. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. There are specific people in specific seasons for specific assignments to take me to a specific direction and a specific... Hey! All cars are good. But for the rich, they know what car goes to what place. So they have many keys at the dash at, at the, at, in their house. But they pick a key according to assignment. Receive grace this morning in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, receive grace this morning. Come on, receive grace this morning. Hallelujah. We serve God using the keys we have. So God showed me, and I'll close this now. 
Are you blessed today? Come on, have you been blessed today? Come on, don't lie to me. Have you been blessed today? Pastor, just so people know what we're going to do the next three days. The Lord showed me that for you to walk in the grace I'm preaching about, there are three facets you must have. The first is revelation. The second is relationship. The third is response. So tomorrow we'll talk about revelation. The next day we'll talk about relationship. And then the third time we'll talk about response. Because first God calls you to serve him by the revelation of him. You can't serve him if you don't have a revelation of him. But from that revelation, you must develop a relationship with him. And then after you have a revelation and a relationship, you must be quick to respond to the instructions that he has given. And Revelation is the knowing. But the growing is in, is in relationship. And then the going is in response. So you know, you grow, you go. We're going to look at this. Your spirit receives revelation. But it is your mind that you must use to relate. Because it touches the heart. And then lastly, your feet must be anointed to This week, you're growing from the head to the heart to the feet. Are you ready for this week? I came along with some books. Uh, what did Minister know? 125,000. Yes. Your money. Is that? There are four books. If I've got it wrong, you'll find them and they'll help us get the right thing there. Okay. No, the pack. It's a pack of four books. It's one ah, pack of four okay. books. Okay, now I'm going to read you. I'm going to read you. I'm going to read you. Okay, and uh, be blessed as you get it. If you've been blessed, stand on your feet and receive the blessing. Lift your hands in the air. Allow me to pray over you. Come on, take some time. Take some time. Say, God, connect me to the wheel of the heavens. Lift, 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 lift your hands. Lift, lift, lift your hands. Father, connect me to the wheel of the heavens. Father, connect me to the wheel of the heavens. Lift, 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 lift your hands. Come on. Come on, come on. Father, connect me to the wheel of the heavens. I want to pray over you, but I need to hear you. Come on, come on. Come on, up, 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 lift your hands. Lift your hands, 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 lift your hands. I can't hear you. Come on, church, come on. Higher, higher, higher. 
Muduza majwi yanyu musenga. Haya haya haya. Muduza majwi yanyu. Father take me away from my will. Data ngura mu bugombe bwanje. Connect me to your will that I may serve it. That I will serve your will for my life. I will serve the kingdom of God. I will serve the plan of God. I will serve the agenda of God. I will serve what you're doing in my generation. Uh, 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 come on, say something. Say something. Say something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, atura, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I will leave for your will. I will leave for your agenda. I will leave for what you're doing in my day. Tell him, thou art the Christ. Tell him, tell him, thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ in my life. Tell him, tell him, thou art the Christ. Only one minute so I can speak. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not my will, but your will. Not what I want, but what you want. Come on. Come on. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your sons and your daughters into the realm of kingdom service. Into the realm of kingdom service. Raise up Daniels of our day. Ah, raise up Moses of our day. Raise up Peters of our day. Raise up Pauls of our day. Men that will run the race. Men that will keep the faith. Men that will propagate your kingdom. Men that will not live for themselves. But they will live for your kingdom. Lord, anoint somebody tonight. Appoint somebody tonight. Choose somebody tonight. As they go to their families. As they go to their homes. As they go to their jobs. As they go, Lord Jesus. Reveal. Reveal your call in their lives, your assignment in their lives, that they will run with it. And the gates of hell will not prevail against you. I pray for you that is here today. The keys are in your hands. May you serve the kingdom. With the keys that are in your hands. If you believe today was for you, surrender, surrender, surrender. Life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself to you. Oof. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself. I give myself. Come on, one more time. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself away. I give myself away. I give myself away.
ejo tuzo turinga ha mu gitondo kubaza 12 kugeza samoya nabanja sumwanya kubaza sita kugeza samunane umugoroba ni kubaza 11 n'igice nuko mwajumbise urahawe kaze kugumanya mwiza tuzo turi kumwe Yesu akomeze kuba kugira neza kwa yewe abo muri protocole badufashe gukura intebe za zimbere abo muri protocole badufashe ama abashaka kugenda biyandikishije